I'm not sure where this is from. It's obviously probably um, unrelated, uh, you know, to to the channel. I'll put that put that over there. That might be from my bed or something, actually. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. I'm going to be pretty quick on this. I ain't going to fuck around at the start with any fucking drawn out memes about bed spreads or whatever have you. Um, I've been sent, well, I haven't been sent. I did purchase this. It's a big fuck off box. It contains six booster boxes. Uh, the sun and the moon ones on, on either respected side of the left and the right. And I, 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 most people have been telling me like, Max, you know, you're not supposed to open up the Japanese booster packs, mate. You're not supposed to rip them. You're supposed to snip the top. I guess this is demonstrated by a Japanese expert who has, uh, who sent this. I guess I bought this from Paper Moon Japan Annex. We've got a website, but, but I, I assume it just links to the shitty eBay since I got it off eBay. But I'm not sure what's in this. I promise I have not opened this. It had a little bit of tape on it. I've just pulled it off. I promise you. I haven't looked inside. And I'm assuming it's not a normal pack because they've sent it to me. Sort of randomly stuck. It's kind of stuck just in here. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna kind of we're gonna Reggie Ice there. I'm not sure what set okay, there this is an evolutions. Okay, we've got a few evolutions. Oh, okay. That is not evolutions. That's that cool, cute set. That's just all cute shit. So like some kawaii fucking starter pack. We've got a mouth. I think also from that sparkly set. And I'm not sure what set that is from. But we have a cool. I thought the tape was still on there then, but I think that's actually just some sort of. It's like a pad or something. It's like he's praying to it. I don't know what that's about. What even is that? Oh, it's the end of. It's light at the end of the tunnel because he's. Well, I mean, it's Marowak. It, it's 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 probably dead. Well, thank you very much for that, pa Paper Moon, Moon in Japan, whatever it is. A few little bonus cards. Oh, I'm happy with that. So, it has been a while, and I haven't been into it, guys. But I'm going to get straight into it, and I'm going to crank open a Moon Box. We're going to do part one and part two of a Pokemon Moon Box. I've heard there's rustlings in, in the vines that the Pokemon... That the Moon Boxes... Have better odds or better pulls. I'm not sure how much truth there is to that. I haven't looked into it at all. Oh, I don't like that nice fresh wrapping sound. Okay, so as you guys know, oh, mmm, carcinogenic. We don't play games over here on, on Max Mofo Pokemon. We don't play no games. I guess I'll try the snipping technique. I feel like a rabbi or something. Man, ain't that tasty? They're so thin, the, the five-pack Japanese ones. So I guess I'll put this down here in the corner. Just a second, fellas. I'm back. I'm back. I got, I got my scissors. I got my kitchen scissors. Those are the big fuck-off kitchen stainless steel-looking scissors. Uh, another thing I've been meaning to ask you guys. So I guess I'll take that. I'll put, the, I'll put it right there. And I'll do a whole side. So I've been meaning to ask you guys. Uh, oh. Uh, did I... And we're all good, we're all good. Guys, a question. And that question is actually, um, I just wanted to ask you guys. So, I haven't looked, I haven't looked this up again. Obviously, I could after this. But have Sun and Moon eradicated first edition packs? Have the Japanese finally given up on it? Or is it just this, these sets for some reason? Because I looked far and wide and even when some, some stores would say first edition or whatever, there is no first edition anymore. There's no first edition stamp on any of these. None of the openings are looked up online. Anyone's been opening first edition. And Japanese packs, when you buy them first out, they're easy to get the first editions. English, in case you didn't know, uh, Wizards of the Coast, I think, were the ones to discontinue it. So English hasn't had first edition in years and years. But Japan still has, up until as far as I know. So if we take this, uh, Phantom Gate, I think it is. I got these in the, 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 the Japan Pokemon Center a long time back. And I just picked these up casually. And you'll see here, for, there's the first symbol, first edition, X and Y4, first edition. So all these cards will have the first edition stamp on them. And so these are pretty much the first ones I've noticed that I've bought new that don't have first edition. Have I just been unlucky? What, was there a set? Because I don't think there has been. I'm really rambling. Alright, fuck that. Let's get into it. Suck my little nodes, boys. And ladies. Man, I did a real hack job on cutting that. Alrighty. First out. Wait a minute. I think getting that means something. I don't think I got a blue one with the other ones. I think we go one to the front. It probably means we just have fucking garbage. So we've got that. We've got that. We've got that. We've got this guy. And we've... Okay, that's it. He's not even a... He's an, just an uncommon. Okay, let's try to savor these. These, these are gonna... 
you go through them so fast, it's almost unbelievable how quick you go through them. Oh, we've got the Alola Ratata. Ratata. Rat. You always get it confused. You need to say Ratata or Ratatat. Ratata. Retard. There we go. One to the front. I think it is. Let's flip it around. What's this guy? Lantern. We've got the, the Retarder there. Retard. We've got... That's not politically correct, Max. We've got the um, Great Barrier Reef. We've got the... Oh, we've got a lot of Alola forms here. Really cool. Oh, oh, shit! Fuck! That's not a bad start, I would say. Quaker! What a fucking ripper, mate! Bloody oath! Strife! It's pretty sick, but... You know, it's just a GX card. It's nothing too crazy. Hey, mate. Alright, one second. Yeah, wait. Hey, what, what iced coffee do you want from McDonald's? What iced coffee? Just get me a big fuck off one with uh, with some sugar in it. Uh, oh, you can see the glare in his eyes. Look at that. Imagine him looking after your patio. You'd have a good night's sleep, I'll tell you that much. He'd probably protect it at night, actually. He'd be asleep in the day, wouldn't he? Huh. <sighs> Well, there we have it, guys. A very, very cool Umbreon e GX. Not EXs anymore, Max. Get it together. It is Umbreon, right? I'm not thinking of Espeon. Or is Espeon... Espeon's the purple fucker. I love Pokemon, guys. Welcome to my Pokemon channel with, with Pokemon knowledge. Anyway, that's that's definitely great to start it off. I will take it. I thought it could have been a hyper rare Fallout at the start. My eyes did deceive me. But uh, look at him. He's just sitting there. He's just chilling. Definitely, definitely worthy. Um, get that blue shit out of the way, pull this to the front. I can't wait until these come out in English. It's only a couple of months until they do. We can do some classic full fucking ten packs. You know what I'm saying? None of this quickly straight to the end in, um, five cards bullshit. That is the end card. He's actually pretty cool. Every Polywell flock has a, sp has a special guy. He's, he's the special one. Jesus Christ, he looks, he looks <laughs> a little doughy, doesn't he? A little dainty too. A little snowflake. I'm gonna fucking put my th thumbs in its eyes, honestly. Till it stops breathing. It wouldn't even be able to breathe. Look, that's its only source of breathing. Unless it breathes through its skin, maybe. Like, probably some kind of fuck on fro f frogs do or something. I don't, I don't, I'm not much of an amphibophile. Is that what they call them, amph amphibophiles? Or is it someone who likes to fuck frogs? I'm not a frog fucker. I'll tell you that much, honestly. I promise I'm not. Have you guys ever seen that video on YouTube of the monkey fucking the frog? I'm not like an enthusiast on the subject or anything. I don't get off to it. Um, maybe ask some questions to how I know that, but like of the video, but it is a classic video. I don't think it's that good resolution, but basically the monkey picks up the frog and he's not really fucking it since it's kind of like the size of his hand, but he's jerking off with it. He's just shoving the whole frog. Over his little monkey dick. Got this guy again. I sometimes keep myself up at night sort of thinking, Max, what actually differentiates you from the other Pokemon channels? You know, why, why do you even do what you do? I mean, sure, surely people can get their fix of cards just by, you know, watching another channel. And then I remember I talk about mon <laughs> monkey's face fucking... A frog roar at the zoo. Actually, I think... I don't know why I'm not talking more much, much more about this, because that's a pretty cool hollow there. Sweet little Dragonite. I think there is actually a reference to the, the, the monkey fucking the frog in a, an episode of Regular Show. Tell me if I'm wrong, because I may have dreamt that up, but I swear there's a reference to it. There is, like... There's this episode where they go into the, the internet... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Toucan Sam! I thought that was a special card on the front for some reason. So colourful without being shiny. There's an episode where they go into the internet or something like that, and then there's a little reference to it where there's like a monkey and a frog like next to each other with a love heart or something like that on the whole of internet videos passing by them. Some some shit like that. That's a cool energy. That's kind of a throwback. Didn't get any shiny in any way. It is the last of the set though. Actually, it's number take a look down here, it's number 60 of 60. Not counting uh, secrets, obviously. But that's pretty cool. Alright, don't worry. Mm, Big Papa gonna deliver on this one. We're, we're doing alright. We got we got we got a hollow and we've got a GX. It's definitely not bad. Come on, Grumble. We've got a, a sparrow, we've got a little fungus fuck. And we have another hollow! I always hated this cunt. I don't like the Pokemon that are just sort of big formations without proper eyes and shit. 
Just kind of like how I, I hate actual animals that look like that. I don't really take any interest in, you know, huge sea slugs or... I guess it's not for everyone. What the fuck actually is this channel? Honestly, what is the demographic for this shit? Alrighty, we got a Pokeball of some sort. We've got a Dratini, we've got a Wingo, we've got a Surskit, is it? And I don't know the names of the new ones. I haven't even played through the whole thing. Sand Sandcastle. We've got a Sandcastle screaming for help. Possessed, I think it's a ghost, sort of ghostly spirit in there, isn't it? Ground is it ground ghost in the game? Cool guys! Good job, Max. You really didn't do a good a good job at all. Going of hacking these open. What was even the point? An ape could have actually done a better job. And we wouldn't be here so long. Come on guys, come on. We've got that uh Pokemon. Oh man! That's one of the ones I haven't seen. Actually, I think I have. It's kinda like I remember those jokes about it looking like a bus. It's the evolution to that other little fucker we've got. What's his name? Carnival? Can't 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 something uh Chin Chow, we've got uh, Snubble, woo, woo, we've got another holo, cool, sweet. I think the holo rate is actually up on Sun and Moon though, the standard holo rate. It seems like every every second pack, right? Pretty cool though, we're getting different ones. Do you want to, you know, get the whole collection going, so that is nice. I probably would say it's nice to have these pre-opened and like, it's making things a breeze, but it's not, because, because I'm an idiot and none of them are, are really properly pre-opened. Okay, this one to the front. Let's go. Got a, uh, not sure what ball that is. We've got a s sexy fish. We've got the, uh, oh! I love, I love the little homemade, look at that. It's like a little crochet polywag. That's cool. And we've got the big fat, dark, radicate Alola form. What's he holding in that, those cheeks? <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Vote below. <laughs> Nothing, come on guys. K keep your mind out of the gutter. It's just a rat. It's a fictional rat. He's probably got nuts in there. He's got a big, big fucking walnut or something. Rats like nuts. You wouldn't put them down. You'd probably put squirrels down for more of a nut fiend, but I've seen rats. I've actually owned a few rats in my time. I used to have a rat I kept down the back shed. At my dad, I see some shine on that. I kept down the back shed at my dad's house, and uh, his name was Diablo. He was, he was an albino rat, and... I didn't take very good care of him at all, and I think he just stayed down the back shed and a lot of time no one even paid him a visit at all. It was fucking heinous. And uh, eventually, because you know rats, they have big big fangs, that shit's no exaggeration. Eventually, the <laughs> Eventually, I knew I saw some shine. Shit, we got the GX, we got, what's his name, Lun Luna, right? Oh, what, I didn't know he actually evolved from this. Or well, that was his younger form of some kind? Do you have, is that, or is that just play some role in, I don't know, I still haven't played through the game much at all. Fuck, that's such a sexy card too. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like the promo one that we already got, the big promo. I think it is, isn't it? It's exactly, it's the huge promo. It's like the normal version of it. That's sick. We've got two GXs and three hollows. And we're not even halfway through an entire booster box. That's I say that's pretty good, mate. Anyway, so um, my rat bit through my friend Jade's finger all the way through. No, the thumb. All the way fucking through, like through the tip. It was completely fucked. The rat was just a fucking demon. Rightfully named Diablo. And I think we either got rid of it, but I'm pretty sure I just released it in the back field somewhere. But let's not talk too much about that. I have not seen that Pokemon at all. That's the evolution of, what's his name, Crab Brawler or something? Why is he like a snow ape? Man, I'm getting spoiled. I'm spoiling myself. The game's been out for fucking ever. Oh, someone's at the door. I reckon it's that stupid cunt with my coffee. Yes, mate. Hey, just in here. Here's a big cream pie. Thanks, dude. Mmm. Looks good. I have to spill it on the fucking rewards I've reaped. Whoops. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, fellas. All right, I'm gonna have a sip of that. Oh, that needs more sugar. I was just telling the lads about the, about the time I owned a rat called Diablo. And it bit through Jade's finger. Diablo. Yeah, it was a albino rat. I let it go in the field, I think. Um, I also owned another rat. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I don't think I've seen that Pokemon yet either. I'm completely spoiling myself. Wait, that fucking bus cunt has a third stage? Sorry, a second stage? It's like a flying bug. I guess it turns into like a... Be it's like a beedrill, kinda. 
It's like a saw. Pretty sure the rates have definitely gone up though on these sun and moon packs. There's no way you'd get this many hollows in standard. Oh, fuck off! Okay, we have two more. Yeah, I had another rat um, that I tell you guys about. His name was Jacob, and this one was, this was a black one. And uh, Jacob had it at my mum's house, and then eventually it got out and it was living inside the house. It used to live in the cage, but it was living inside the house for a while. And I had dogs, and the dogs wanted a piece of it. Uh, eventually, we found it in the kitchen, like two weeks later. It was still living, somehow. And then, um, it ran away and it ended up underneath the house. And I had one of those houses that was on stilts. So, this is the last pack, guys. Can I just suck Hold your br quickly? Yeah, fucking go! Alright, so then my rat ended up, I had a house that was on stilts, and the rat got under that, and it was right at the back. And uh, one of my dogs at the time, Russell, which was a, a sausage dog, he got in there and he was fucking just eating it. And then I think uh, he got stuck and I pulled him out and he was holding half a rat in his mouth. And that was Jacob. That was the end of Jacob. And I think that was the time that I stopped caring for rats. Thanks for listening. There's the muck. We've got all the muck. I don't think I've properly seen that either, but he looks pretty cool. So we got, how many hollows did we get? So only halfway through a booster box, a Japanese booster box, we got him. We, can I, you fucking not? We got, uh, we got Dragonite. He must get a little gassy when he's flying. We've got, uh, I fucking can't remember, never remember this fucker's name. I know he's Young Revolution, he's Rog and Roller. We got Rog and Roller. Cran Brulee and, and I don't know the big one. Rock and Roll is the small one, I think. Then we have Lolan Muck and we have the Bus Bugs second stage. And then the big two cards at the back here, boys. We've got Umbreon GX and we've got La 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 Luna GX. 250 health, fuck me. And that's the end of the f episode one. Please feel free to, to click on screen if it is out to, to watch episode two. That'll be part two of the two-part series. Thanks for watching, fellas. And ladies. I will see you next time. It's been Maximo for Pokemon.